Hi. Hi, everyone. I'm glad you stayed with us and glad for the ones that are connecting just now. This has been a fabulous morning so far. And now you're going to hear from a very good friend of mine, Brenda Grishheimer, and she's going to talk about the healing of Reiki. Welcome, my friend. Uh, hi, Linda. Wow, it's been so wonderful all morning. I'm just so blessed to be a part of this. And I'd like to speak to the caregivers that I cared for my mom from me being 26 years old until I was 50. She died at 80 years old and she lived with me with dementia and Alzheimer's. Oh. So I'm excited to tell you that Reiki energy therapy can help you. And I've been doing this now for seven years professionally and we don't have enough time for me to tell you everything I'd like to tell you about Reiki energy, but I was thinking, let's look at it like a battery. When a battery's low, the supply is low, it's not going to function well. And when we're not fully charged, we're not going to function well. So Reiki energy is clearing our energy points. There's seven major energy points in our body and today, I get to give you a distance Reiki treatment, just briefly. Yay. That's yeah. wonderful. <laughs> and the Reiki isn't just for the caregiver, also for their loved one. Because oh, about 10 years ago, one of my caregivers, her husband had Parkinson's, and a woman that did Reiki came to the house, and she said it changed everything about him. Oh, wonderful. I believe that. I've given Reiki to probably hundreds and hundreds of people and in hospice. And I, I'm just thrilled with the results that the people yeah, yeah. get from it. And, you know, everything is energy. So energy has no boundaries. So what we're doing today, I can do to you one-on-one -on -one because it has no boundaries. I'm going to be beaming energy to each one of you. So I'd like you to set an intention of what you would like to receive today. Maybe um, it's physical pain. Maybe it's emotional stress. Maybe you'd like a deeper spiritual connection. So mm -hmm. if you want right now, just kind of set an intention of what you would like to receive. Even though you don't understand, I, don't, I didn't understand Reiki when I first was healed of a stress knot instantly when someone put hands on me. So you don't have to know everything about it. Just know that it works. And uh, you can trust me that I believe in it, not because of scientific proof, but because it worked for me and it's worked for many, many people that I've treated over the years. And so I'd like to ask in the chat, um, can they get uh, information from you for a session or referrals to help other caregivers? So your website is www.brendareikihealing.com. Okay, I'm putting that in the chat room now. Okay, great. All right, it's all yours, yeah. honey. Okay, so I want us to take three deep breaths and I'd like you to watch how I do this. I'm gonna breathe in through my nose and I'm breathing in peace and I'm going to exhale out of my mouth and I'm exhaling any stress that I'm feeling in my body or my emotions. So here I go, watch this. Breathing in peace, <sighs> letting out stress. So let it out verbally, intentionally, forcibly letting it out. So let's take a deep breath in through our nose. <sighs> Again, in through your nose, feel your shoulders go up and then down with the exhale. <sighs> Again, in through your nose. <sighs> I'm going to be touching on four areas of your body starting at the top of your head and I'll tell you where I am, but what you need to do is just relax. You can either be seated or you can lie down right now if you like, and maybe make sure your cell phone's turned off so nothing's distracting you because 
you have energy within you and Reiki means universal life force energy. So what I'm doing is helping you connect your energy with that Reiki universal energy. So you're actually subconsciously healing yourself. And right now I'm going to start by beaming in energy. I'm going to the top of your head and Reiki does mean universal life force energy. So I'm beaming that beautiful white light down into you. You can close your eyes. I won't be doing anything but what I'm doing right now. And keep your focus on the part of the body where I'm talking to you about. If I were giving you a distance Reiki healing, we would just set a time and you would relax. But today I'd like to explain a little bit about it for you. So give yourself this gift right now of relaxation and healing. So I'm starting at the top of your head. Receive this white light coming down through your crown chakra, which is the energy point at the top of your head. And this represents enlightenment, intuition, and your spiritual connection with God. Energy supply to the pineal glands, upper brain, and your right eye. So let's just be still for a moment on this position, your head and neck. Sometimes you'll feel warmth. Sometimes you'll feel coolness. Sometimes it'll almost be like a pulsating feeling. Sometimes you won't feel anything. It's just different. It's the energy moving and flowing and unblocking. We're also traveling down just above your eyebrows in the center of your forehead. They call that your third eye chakra. And this is the energy supply to your spine, your lower brain, left eye, pituitary gland, nose, ears, and central nervous system. Concentrate on that area up in your forehead for just a moment. Let's bring our focus down to the front of our throat. This is your throat chakra. This is where you want to speak your truth and be your authentic self, right in the middle of your throat. It represents self-expression, emotions, communication, and creativity. It's your energy supply to your throat, your thyroid gland, your upper lungs, your arms, and your digestive tract. So put your focus on your throat as we move the energy.
Now, my friends, I'm moving the Reiki energy to your upper torso, your shoulders, on down to your heart chakra. Envision your heart chakra in the middle of your chest. This represents your emotions, love, devotion, spiritual growth, and compassion. The energy supply is to the heart, the thymus gland, liver, lungs, and your circulation system. Just relax and receive. We're also moving the energy down just a couple of inches above your navel. This is called your solar plexus, your chakra there. It represents the center of your body. Food assimilated, turned into energy and distributed throughout your body. The energy supply is to your emotions, stomach, liver, digestion, gallbladder, and your pancreas. Relax and receive. Sometimes people like to put their hands over their heart when you're on this area. Feel free to do that. Put your right hand on your heart and your left hand over your right hand. Now I'm sending Reiki energy to your lower torso. Envision just a couple of inches below your navel. This is your sacral chakra. It represents sexual energy, perceptions, and first impressions of people. The energy supply is to the reproductive organs, legs, and glands. Moving down, I'm going to include at the base of your spine, in front of your genitals, this is your root chakra, and it represents life, the physical vitality, birth and creation, energy supply to the spine, kidneys, bladder, and the adrenal glands. Envision yourself being grounded at the root chakra. You were right across the street. Now we're going to finish the distance Reiki treatment by sending it to your legs and feet. Covering any leg pains, your veins, reflexology points, everything going on in your legs and feet.
slowly bring yourself back to this present moment as I'm sweeping down your body, head to toe, sweeping off the blockages that we've stirred up. If anyone has a question, we could open it up for questions or feel free to call me or email me or contact me on my website. I love sharing Reiki. It, it's a wonderful experience for me. I laid hands on people for 45 years through my faith. And I knew that this was another way that I was going to be used to help people. Uh, Brenda? Yeah. Someone just asked in the chat, do you do this with children? Yes, I do. I did a nine-year-old uh, just last week that had gone through some traumatic experiences um, and it helped her tremendously. That's fabulous. And, and one of the other panelists said, um, thank you so much. And then someone asked, could it help with behavior and focus? Yes, it's body, mind and spirit. So anything that's happened in our past, we can beam distance Reiki to the past. And what we're dealing with is our reactions to what the event was. So yes, we can make changes to our thought patterns and uh, stress and physical illnesses. Somebody said plant, pets and plants also? Yes, I really? love it. Yes, I've like been a doing pet, a plants. Oh yeah. One day I was giving someone Reiki and I looked up and my plant was sh moving, shivering. Oh my so God. It's energy and everything has energy. And I've treated several dogs and uh, one little miniature doby was so uptight when he got to my studio, he was eyes bulging, running all over. And we put him up on my table and I sat on one side and his master on the other. And the dog was half asleep for an hour and 15 minutes. Oh my goodness. Yeah. And that, that dog and another, their owners say, I cannot believe how much more relaxed they are. Um, somebody said, my cat loved to receive Reiki. She said she would come up to me and ask for it. <laughs> oh, definitely. I had a friend, uh, Linda Newer, also known me. Um, her, she, the first time I went to her house to start giving her treatments at home, she said, now I have to warn you, my cat does not like people. And if you try to approach him, I don't know what he'll do. Well, within seconds of me putting my hands on the master's head on the bed, the cat was putting his head under my hands like he wanted to be a part of it. Yeah. Well, sometimes animals are smarter than us. That's for sure. <laughs> Kids too, sometimes. Yeah. But I, I just want to encourage our, our listeners today. This is a gift for yourself. Yes. This is a gift for yourself. I mean, you can use it for your loved one. You can use it for your kids. It's a gift for everybody. But today I want you to take this as a gift for yourself. And yes. since you're here and for the people that couldn't be here for this specific session yeah. as long as you're registered you'll receive all these recordings so you could have brenda over and over, uh, and over again how cool is that yes and i have three reiki shares throughout pinellas county each month okay. at three different locations and you can just come give a love offering and several of my reiki practitioners and masters that i've trained will give you little mini Reiki treatments while you're there for a, the hour. And my husband, who Linda knows, Rick, he'll yeah. do a sound bath at the same time. He plays the angel harp, which is a healing instrument, and the crystal healing bowls. Yeah. So yeah. you'll get a sound so bath. So good. And, and uh, you know, I, I've been to it before, and I've had Reiki with you, and I just always walk out feeling better, and I always walk out feeling like I unloaded something. Definitely. Like Definitely. just something went away that needed to go away. Yes. So. You know, fibromyalgia is something a lot of people cannot 
find a solution for. And a lady came to me the first time I watched her, she could barely get out of the car and walk in. I took two stools to get her up on the table. When we were finished, she had a spring in her walk and she's been coming for three months, not just the fibromyalgia, but emotionally, she is a different person. Well, somebody yeah. asked, um, do you train other NPs and what profession? I train uh, to be certified in Reiki energy therapy. Okay. You get, you get certified. Yeah. Then someone else said, thank you, Brenda. I was sweating as soon as we got to the heart chakra. Oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> That's good. A lot of energy moving around in there. Sometimes I feel like I'm bursting into flames. So that's a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much for being with here to, for, with me today. We're going to see you again tomorrow for a little bit. Um, okay. I so appreciate you. And please, everyone who's listening, take care of yourself and take a little break. And we will be back at 120 with A&E Corner. And they're going to show us some great adaptive equipment. So don't go away. Great. Thank you, Linda. <laughs>